Hello everyone, Danai here from Danai's Electrical Services and in today's video I will be showing you how to wire a contactor with a start stop button. How to wire a contactor with a start and stop button whether to control a motor or some other three phase load. So let's just get right into it. So first thing, you need a three phase contactor, right? A three phase contactor. And it must have normally open contacts on it. If it doesn't have normally open contacts on it, it cannot work, right? So, I'm just gonna jump right into this video. The first thing we're gonna do is connect our load, which is our three phase motor. So, we're just gonna go ahead and connect our three phase to T1, T2, and T3. This is where we will connect our load with our three phase red yellow and blue so there connect the red now i'm going to connect the yellow and to t3 i connect the blue it doesn't necessarily have to be in this sequence where i have red yellow blue where I had red, where I have red to T1, yellow to T2, and blue to T3. It doesn't have to be in that sequence. So, after we connect our load, our three phase load, I'm going to go ahead and connect my source. Right? So, I'm going to connect my three phase source to L1, L2, and L3. Red connected. Now time to connect my yellow phase. And when I'm doing my connections, I try to ensure that I get as much of the conductor as possible under the terminal and try not to get any of the insulator under it so there our three phase source is connected there we go red yellow blue to l1 l2 l3 that is it now it is time to connect our stop and start button right so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is also i have to ensure i check the coil to see the type of coil it is so i'm gonna check to see the voltage not sure if you can see it on camera but it is 220 volts right one of these lines is 220 volts right you have to check and ensure that that is it for you so 220 volts so i'm going to go ahead and connect my wire here so it can be any one of these phase i'm going to connect it to the red phase so from my red phase i'm going to connect my normally open or my Sorry, normally closed. My normally closed are my stop switch. So my normally closed push button. Go ahead and connect that. And then from my normally closed switch. So let me just connect my next terminal for the normally close all right and my normally close switch is connected from the normally close to the normally open right so let me connect my normally open 
are my start switch. All right, and then from my normally open, Alright, so from my normally open or start switch to the normally open contact. I think I'm out of wire here, so let me just get these more wires. Okay, I get my remaining wires, so now I'm back. Okay, where were we? Okay, from the normally open switch to the normally open contact, and then the normally open switch. All right, let me just connect it over here first. So normally open on the contactor. My wire look a bit exposed and L2 here, so let me get that a little better. Mm -hmm. Alright, so from my other normally open on the contactor back to normally open and our normally open switch right and I deliberately did it this way where I connect it and loosen and connect it again so you guys can better follow me I didn't want to connect two wires at a time to the terminal right so pause let's pause right now so this is our normally open r start push button switch so the contacts across the normally open switch our button will connect across the normally open and the contactor right so normally open across the normally open push button connect to normally open across the contactor right We'll also make a next connection to our normally open switch. As I tell you, I deliberately did it like this so you guys can better follow me. Right? I want you guys to follow me. very slowly no rush my wires are not the neatest right now but this is just a demonstration purpose but you should always try not to make your wires or your conductors exposed all right there we go So this will now connect to A1 or A2, it doesn't matter which one of them. Should have used a longer wire, but nonetheless, we'll use what I have. And now <laughs> I am thinking that I should have connected my coil first because it's a bit difficult to reach to the coil. totally forget that it's this contactor that I'm using which is difficult to reach when the source is connected all right so from the normally open to a1 or a2 it doesn't matter I put it to a1 
and then I will have my neutral or my ground connected to A2. Don't worry if I lost you, I'm going to go back to it, run to it. And this is because it is a 220 coil. If it was a 415 coil, we could use one of the other phase, let's say yellow, right? We could use the yellow phase. Instead of connecting this to neutral, we would have connected this to L2 or L3. So we have our 415. So let me run through it with you again. Source, right? Our three phase source, red, yellow, blue. From one of our phase to the normally close are the stop button. Same thing, right? Normally close. From the normally close to the normally open, which is our start button. And from the normally open to A1, right? The normally open switch is also connected across the normally open and the contactor right and then a2 will connect to our neutral or our ground and then this is our load which is our three-phase motor that is it so how does this work right under normal circumstances we will press our green button remember this is normally closed so we are live coming from here coming up to this point right this is normally open when we press this it will cause current to flow right going to a1 and our neutral which is connected to a2 which will energize the contactor the contactor will now contact right when the contactor is is closed right the current is flowing through the normally open which keeps the contactor latched in place right because the normally opens now become closed and the and the contactor is energized thus keeping it latched right so it stays like this until we press the stop button thus opening the circuit right so now the coil is no longer energized and that open the circuit so there you have it guys this is how you wire a contactor with a start and a stop button to control a three-phase motor so this was another video brought to you by Dana's electrical services for similar videos to these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Dana's electrical services thank you thank you thank you